freely falling bodies a common example of motion in a straight line with constant acceleration when an object falls under the effect of gravitational acceleration from a height that is negligible when compared to radius of the earth then the constant acceleration will be equal to gravitational acceleration that will be 9.8 meter per second square for any two freely falling bodies negligence of air resistance is important to consider accelerated motion otherwise it cannot be considered as motion with constant acceleration motion in a straight line with constant acceleration for that we have already derived the three equations of motion v equals to u plus at x equals to ut plus half at square and v square equals to u square plus 2ax where v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity a is constant acceleration t is the time interval and x is the position of the particle now for any freely falling object falling under the effect of gravity let us say it co covers a vertical distance of y and vertical direction is considered as positive y axis then acceleration will be considered equals to minus g so our equations of motion will be converted to the form v equals to u minus gt y equals to ut minus half gt square and v square equals to u square minus 2 gy let us solve an example to understand the application a ball is thrown up at a speed of 4 meter per second find the maximum height reached by the ball take acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square so here what you are given initial velocity is given as 4 meter per second acceleration due to gravity is given as 10 meter per second square and final velocity will be zero because when you throw the ball upwards it reaches the maximum height and it stops there momentarily before returning back so final velocity will be zero so we use third equation of motion substituting the values and simplifying it we get the height reached by the ball will be equals to 0.80 meter this is a very simple example of direct application to the formula now let us consider when another example from a 200 meter high tower a ball is thrown upwards with a speed of 10 meter per second and another is thrown vertically downwards at the same speed simultaneously find the time difference of their reaching the ground so assume our 200 meter high tower from there we throw the balls one is thrown vertically upwards another one is thrown vertically downward with the same speed so their motion paths will be like this keep in mind that the time taken by both the balls to reach from the 200 meter to the ground level will be same because the ball which was thrown vertically upward will again reach the 200 meter height at 10 meter per second so that time duration will be same for both the balls so the time difference will arise only because the first ball which was thrown vertically upwards and the time taken by it to cover the vertically upward and downward path hence we find the time taken by the first ball to cover its path in the vertical direction hence for one way motion of that path we have initial velocity 10 meter per second final velocity will be zero gravitational acceleration will be 10 meter per second square so we use the first equation of motion substituting the values and simplifying we get time equals to 1 second so 
the first ball when thrown vertically upward it will take 1 second to reach the highest position so again it will take 1 second to reach back to the initial position hence the total time difference will be equals to 2 seconds keep in mind that for most questions in entrance exams for freely falling bodies you can take gravitational acceleration as 10 meter per second square now pick up your reference books and practice as many as questions as you can